So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. This time it's going to be about Power Query and we're going to get a little bit nerdy. So <laughs> prepare yourself. What I'm going to show you today is how you do pagination in an API, REST API, when you know the number of pages. Okay, so let's get started. So ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to make sure that this is understood from the beginning. The, Different APIs will work in different ways. You need to read the documentation about how an API works in order to be able to implement it, okay? But once you know that, then it's, this is a method for you to get all the information from an API when instead of returning one big table, it's returning table, the big table in, in chunks, like 50 pages at, or 50 records at a time, 100 records at a time, it will be different depending on the API that you are requesting. And the method to request the pages also will differ. So this will help you with a specific case, but it will give you an idea of how it works. And then you will be able to do it, I think, with other APIs too. So the API, with that said, the API that we're going to use today is the World Bank. Tons and tons of good information in there. And we're going to retrieve country data. Okay, this API is not like super easy to read, but here we have, this is the, the home page, and then we're going to get country data. So with all REST APIs, the, the queries that you generate or that they have on the documentation, you can actually test them live, which is very useful on a web browser. Just press the information and click enter. And if you go in here and you scroll, this is the result that you're going to get. You scroll down, you'll see that you don't get everything. And already here at the top, they are telling you that they are giving you page one of six pages where there are 50 records on each page and there's a total of 299, okay? So we know there are six pages. And what is basically, this is basically giving you what it doesn't really specify so well in the API is this page equal one. So they're giving you page one, and then you can actually iterate through this, page two, page three, right? So it makes it actually quite easy. Okay, so there are different ways to do this. Let me show you. The first thing that we're going to do is go to copy that query, and then go to Power BI, go to the web connector, go to the web connector, and we're going to paste that. And that is going to grab the first information. You'll see, it will give you the information about what the API is going to return for that table. So it tells us, this is a table containing the data, but this is just for page one. There are six pages, again, the same thing. Uh, there are 50 records per page and there is 299. Now, there are two ways to do this. The easiest way of all is you start a new query and then you go and you say, hey, give me, you create a list, right, from oh, a list from one to six, because you know there are six pages. You convert it to a table, and put this as text. You can actually do it on the fly, but in case you are new, what is the text? Here, you put it as a text, we, we do the change here. Now you go to the first query, you copy this thing, the first query that you created, go up here, custom column, and then in here, instead of country, you are going to do the query, the other query that we did. Let me show you. So we're going to do this query instead now, because we're going to feed in this last number, right? So go to back to so we go back to Power BI and we're going to paste the page thing, but instead of hard coding the number, what we're going to do is actually pass it through with column one. There, there we have page one, page two, page three, blah blah blah. Beautiful. And here you have all the information that you need, right? And then you can expand and then you'll get everything. Let's grab only two, remove the columns. And this is, I mean, legit, obviously, but APIs change all the time. And obviously the number of countries does not change very often. But if you have another API, you will 
you don't want to hard code the number of pages to return and you want the API to tell you how many pages to return. So we're going to do it a little bit different. Let me show you. So we go back to this, um, the first query where we just query the API and say, hey, tell me how many pages do I have? Here you have the total number of pages. So we're going to drill down and grab this as a number. So this step navigation gives me six as a result. Um, we're going to go to the advanced editor for a second and give this thing a better name because that is going to be hard to write. Total pages. Done. Oh, sorry. I have to obviously do it here too. Total, otherwise you will not know what to execute. Total pages. Okay. Now, beautiful. And now we're going to create a new step. And we're going to use a function called list numbers. Really nice. Let me show you. Okay, so here we have list numbers. So it generates a list of numbers. The beautiful thing about these, we could generate the, the list of the same way we did before, but the beautiful thing about this is that you can actually say the increments. In case of pages, it was one to three, it was like 150, 100. You could say, okay, one to 10 by two. So one, three, six, right? So it is actually a little bit more advanced than just hard coding the value. So we're going to use this. And we're going to do list numbers. And then we're going to do the first number is going to be one. The, so list number works. First number until what number, which is the total pages until six. And then the increments. Do you want to do it one by one, 10 by 10? In this case, we just wanted to do it one by one. So you can either write one or don't write anything write one so you know that is one by one why not and it says six is yeah so here it has to be a number so let's change that to a number you can hard code it again but let's do it like that so now we get the list of one to six but this is not dynamic so if the world organization will have to add a new page our uh, query will not break which is super nice and then you do the exact same thing you go to there. Close and apply. Now, I really recommend you to test, to check, because you know that you were supposed to receive 299 records. Did you get them? Check it. It takes a second and you are sure that you did things right, right? So 299. Beautiful. Now, what happens when you don't know the number of records to return? When you, the API does not tell you, I have 30 pages or I have 100,000 rows or whatever it is that they have. Well, things get a little bit more complex and we need to use a function called list generate. So that I'm going to do for another video so this doesn't get too long. Let me know in the comment box if you want to have it so I'll do it sooner rather than later, if you know what I mean. I will do it, I promise. But if there's not a high request, I have all the cool videos on the pipeline. So let me know if you want it. I will see you tomorrow on Corbel Data Labs second channel. We're going to do bar charts and you know, column charts and all that fun stuff. Uh, otherwise, I will see you on Thursday, as always. So take care. Bye-bye.